voor dit design. We gaan vandaag naar Abrollo, een van de gay clubs in Budapest. Hier gaan we sfeer proeven en kijken hoe het met de gay community in Budapest zit. Let's go! Hallo, wij zitten hier vandaag met Thomas, de barman van Gay Bar Habrollo. We gaan een aantal vragen stellen over de bar en over de gay scene in Hongarije. Um, how did the bar come to its existence? Uh, the owners of this uh, bar before work in a gay bar, the first gay bar in uh, Budapest. The name was Angel and that's how they uh, get the idea of starting a new gay bar in Budapest. So that was the main reason, because it, it was going really good and it was high demand for it. How big is the gay scene here in Budapest? Here in Budapest it's really huge, because this is a city of two million, and a lot of tourists come here every year. It's uh, grow by 10% or 12, and um, there are a lot of gay bars, but still there is a uh, demand for more. Mm -hmm. Do there come a lot of tourists here or are there mainly Hungarian people who come to your club? It's a kind of half-half or 60 by 40 percent. There's a lot of tourists here, especially because this is situated in a city central. Um, so yeah, it's really a touristic point because this is a 12-year-old uh, gay bar and it's well known in, uh, in uh, Western or even in uh, Central Europe. Do you get uh, a lot of positive reactions on this club? Uh, yes, thanks for, thank, I'm really thankful for a lot of tourists who come here who spread the kind of news that here's a little cute club <laughs> and uh, we have positive reactions from US to New Zealand because all these people who have been here next year maybe they're coming, they visit again us and of course they get they give us a review on TripAdvisor or Facebook. On Facebook we have uh, 4.9 or 4.8 of um, stars out of oh, five. five. Yeah, so it's really, really good. Okay. Do you ever have problems in the club, like um, fightings or that kind of stuff? Oh uh, Yeah, in a 12 year it's really rare, like I, I can mention it too. It was both of them because of um, people who use some drug before they come here so it's really not uh, the thing really I can mention two, two, two times it happened in the, in the 12 years and how's the atmosphere in the club very friendly kind or really hard partying <laughs> what's the uh, mainly it's a kind of friendly and family place like where the the guests who frequently come here who's openly gay they can bring their mother or other family members to have some coffee and also young people who after after later night going to clubbing somewhere they can have some shots here to, you know to make the basics and the basis and do only um, homosexual people come here or also straight people uh, also straight people coming here but all of these straight people I can tell is uh, most of the time the relatives of the Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, LGBTQ communities, okay. relatives, so not really, mm -hmm. I can't tell, not really. Um, and when you first opened, was the club immediately booming or did you kind of have to start up? Uh, yeah, it's a good question, so the first two, three years it was really hard, but already has some people here. Uh, because the other gay bar in the end of the 90s uh, was um, closing and it was high demand for a new club, similar type like uh, the first one in the, like the Angel Club before. So it was waiting for this. So that's why it was quite easy, but mm. in Hungary you never know. Um, so the owners of Angel were also the owners of this bar? No, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were working there. Oh, before. they were working there. Okay. Yes. And why did Angel close? Uh, it, so the Angel uh, bar closed because the owner wanted to open a bigger one, Angel Two. So and then all the people who was frequently going there choose the bigger place to go. So then because it wasn't uh, really used the place, then it was sold the owner rights. Mm -hmm. So that's why it was closed.